What makes a person your soulmate, and how challenging are your differences? Believe it or not, talking about it can reduce someone to tears. Close to 60 couples put their love to the test to find out if they were really meant for each other at the New Paper Wedding Planner 2011. Held from January 7th to 9th, the biannual wedding event at Vivo City had a segment called The Opposites Attract Challenge that tests the popular belief where the opposites attract. And it's all not fun and games, mind you. The challenge put their relationships under pressure while they're all decked out in bridal gear. And the pressure might have proved too much for some. Couple number six, the interracial 22-year-old couple, Dominic and Pamela, went through a rather emotional moment on stage, with Pamela welling up during the segment where she had to declare her love to her partner. I want to be there for you because you've given me so much. Can you cry so much for me? Uh-huh. Don't cry. I'm sorry that my love cannot be complete, but thank you. I can be a princess here forever with you. I want to be there forever to support you all the way. I love you. How about a big hug? Come on, a big hug. Come on, come on. We found out why later when we asked a sensitive question that triggered the tears again after the contest. Now, when are you guys actually getting married? <laughs> okay, we have a little bit of problem here because... As you know, um, Singaporeans are not so okay with interracial. Although on the surface, like, okay, it's fine, everyone is together. But when we first went out together, right, we had a lot of stares. You know, some people will just like stare on you and like look at you, that kind. So it, it's really hurtful. But we believe in our love. You see, he's going crazy. Yeah, so even though there are a lot of odds to overcome, especially parents and all, but I feel that if love is true, fight for it. Because he's given me so much, really a lot of unconditional love. There's a lot of mistakes I've made, a lot, but he's always been there for me. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, well, for one, it's like, sometimes as a girl, sometimes at certain age, you enjoy the attention too much. That you make mistakes, you go astray a bit. But no matter what, he's always there. When I fall, when they leave me, he was always there. He didn't question. And some people say that it's stupid to do that. But if you think about what's real love, that is real love. Because he always be there for the person. And now I've grown, I've learned. And I can only say I love him so much more because of what he has gone through for me. <laughs> so in their case, do they believe that opposites repel or attract? And are they really opposites in the first place? Definitely, differences will make you repel a bit. That, there's always a lot of fights at the beginning. Like for example, I'm very like, I want things done quick. Like now, like now, you know, immediately. But Domi here is like, he's more relaxed pace, more chill, but there's also a good point to that because on stage, right, he's actually very calm, confident, and he does everything so well. <laughs> wow, I just go fluster, like, yeah. Um, like, uh, I'm more flexible. She's very structured. She plans her day from uh, day to night, and if anything goes wrong, she'll just go, ah. <laughs> and I'm, like, flexible on the ball. Um, and I love oldies. She loves R&B. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stand it when he goes singing all his old songs and I think he can't stop it already. What else? Oh, entertainment news. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, she claims that all the stuff I like are boring. Like, I, like, I love to read about economics, history, political science, history, whereas she loves only entertainment news. I like biology too, but seriously, when he goes on about history, I'm, I, can't, I can't really stand it. Yeah, that's why. But, um... Well, at least uh, we, we work through our differences. I think it's um, most important is your attitude towards the differences. And how have the two of them managed to do that? Try to understand each other. And I mean, you think about what you have so far, the similarities, the common things you all share. And also because like, if that's worth it, the person is worth it, you try your best, accommodate to each other. I feel very fortunate to have her as my soulmate. I think in life it's very important for one to find someone who truly understands you and even if you don't understand each other, most importantly, take the effort to understand each other. 
and take time to enjoy the pleasures and difficulties in life together. I'm glad I found that person. Even though the two did not win anything in the competition, their love story surely will warm many hearts. But stay tuned as we talk to three other couples who did cash in on their love during the contest. So stick around. Thank <laughs> you.